Hey guys, what up? It's Ivan Timberwolf here, and today we are here on the Union Pacific Hunt Branch. And if we go here, you can actually tell it's abandoned because the lights are folded. So that's pretty sad because this branch used to serve Hunt's Tomato Factory, Hunt's Ketchup Tomato Factory, up until 1990 when it was bought, when Hunt's Ketchup was bought out by uh, I don't know what the company is. I forgot, but they got bought out, and this line became abandoned. Um, it did. I'm not sure, but I'm um, probably did remain in service. But signals weren't folded and taken apart until 2014, as if we know now. Um, the bells have been taken off, and they were originally Reiko mechanical bells, both of them. Uh, I'm not sure if they were cast iron or original Reiko gongs. I don't know what they're made of. But anyways, here's the first signal. You got the dot tag information to report, report the emergency, Union Pacific Railroad. I forgot one more piece of history, just to let you know. Uh, uh, after Union Pacific abandoned this line in 1990, in around 2010, they decided to hand down the uh, hand down the line to Burlington Northern and Santa Fe, also known as BNSF. So BNSF is temporarily, I think they are now, I think they now own this line. Uh, if not, correct me, uh, as you know anything about this railroad. As you can see, this line is in very good shape, except down there, there's a tree falling across the tracks. And this railroad was actually built in 1992, I uh, heard. And these are, okay, these are very old signals, as you can tell. They have like, very old equipment and the old safe train logo. So, and also, Okay, sorry about that guys, I'm just too excited. Okay, starting off with the base. It's, it's a four inch clamp style base, I'm not sure what it is. It's a GRS four inch signal base. It's a clamp, it's not a clamp style, but it has some bolts around it, like it has a cover. It's not a clamp style, clamp styles are round. And you can literally see this is poking out, so this is not a clamp style base. So yeah, the base is completely covered in leaves. And here are the lights. They are uh, all Safetran 12 by 24 inch lights. And they are all 70s style. As you can see the logo is up down here instead of right in the middle of the hood. So these are very old lights. But somewhere in like, I don't even know if LEDs were even made in the 1990s. Let me know in the comments. Over here. They have been replaced with LEDs when they were originally incandescents. Well, the spider webs, and I just have one in my hand right now. Uh, uh, they are they are all, and right here we have a Griswold light bracket. My God, that's old. The Griswold Signal Company was around around uh, it was around in 1930s through 60s, I think. And uh, yes. Yeah, the other tracks had a service sign, which would have originally been a cross buck, and um, a, um, a non-seen Reiko mechanical bell, which has been already stolen or sold on eBay or uh, scrapped. I'm not pretty. I'm not sure. So, yep. Let's go to the other signal. Oh my God, this concrete grade is like so. I don't even know if concrete grade one thing. See, there's welding over here. It's been shipped up. There you have, uh, oh my god, you still have the dot tag remaining on the pole. Look at that. It's a little piece of paper on the pole. The lights are the same as the other signal. 70s, 70s style uh, Safe Trans Systems Corp lights replaced with LEDs. And we have a very, very, very unusual Grizzle Signal Co. base. I've never seen anything like it at all. And this is probably the only signal in California that has it. I'm not sure, but most likely because I haven't seen a base like this in my entire life or my entire career of being here. As you can see, the dot tag was stolen. Probably sold on eBay. And uh, yeah, the lights are the same. And this is also Griswold Signal Company. And there's a tracks out of service line where the crossbow would have stood. And uh, the bell's gone. As you can tell, the, wait, are those wires? Yeah, I think the wires have been cut. Yeah, I think it would used to go down to the relay, which would, the relay case is right over there. Let's just get across the street real quick. Here, 
is the relay case. Uh, I'm not sure of this manufacturer, but for some reason there's a B. It's like maybe it made a nest in the wiring unit. So it's probably been like somebody tried kicking it, as you can see. It wasn't me. Uh, and they had to seal this. Sadly, it really. I can't even see anything except for a bunch of wires. So I can't even see any relays. So, yeah, can't see anything because due to this thing, somebody actually bent it open, as you can see. And, uh, yeah, the relay case is pretty much beat up. Look at it. It's all rusty and stuff. Okay, yeah, that, that's about to break anytime soon if somebody kicked it. And uh, here we have here, the relay case. There's a lock on it. Uh, Southern Pacific Railroad, I guess UP Railroad Signal Department, that's what they make, and there's a little lock of chain, like chain, and there's a spider living on the handle, so nobody touched the handle, because there's a spider living on it. Okay, so there's a lot more crossings on this line, but sadly, uh, it's um, not, it's, it's, ne it's most likely never going to come back, so that's just something really sad about this line. It just, it's just so beautiful and the signals are so classic. I just really love to see him in action. Imagine just a signal maintainer just comes over here just to remove the signals and maybe he could activate the last time for me. That'd be amazing to see the uh, light flash and see it in service. But yeah, sadly, uh, this line has been abandoned for more than uh, 40 years. So guys, thank you for watching this video and stay tuned for more videos. Goodbye.